In this video, I'm going to show you how to build this ultimate survival house, equipped with everything you need, including this lever. Let's get started. To begin, we have an overview look of the blueprint for our house. The red blocks represent where you need to place wooden pillars to begin this build. You should lay out your pillars with five blocks in between each one. Create this shape and you're on your way. The pillars need to be four tall. Then you need to connect all your pillars at the top except for here and here. If done correctly, it should look like this. Now to fill in some walls with some stone brick. We're going to create two nether portals so it looks like it wraps this corner. Go ahead and fill in behind the nether portal with the block of your choosing. I'm using stripped oak logs. We're gonna create a decorative gate with cobblestone walls on the ends and spruce fence gates in the middle. Fill the ends on both sides with stairs so you can get to the next floor. Now is the time to fill in the floor for the next level. Not every square will use the same block, so be sure to pause here to copy what I've done. We're gonna add some things to help make this build not look flat. Add some logs sticking out at the top of each of your pillars. You can add a door on the sides for a basement or mine entrance. Add stone buttons on the logs you just placed. Put supports by using a combination of cobblestone walls and oak fence. In the front, place campfires along the top edge like this. Make sure to extinguish them for some easy but great detail. More easy detail, place leaves as bushes at the base around the back side of the house. Hanging lanterns always adds a nice touch to a build. Finally, let's round out the edges of our archways with spruce stairs and spruce trapdoors. Congratulations, that's the first floor complete. To start the second, cap some of your pillars with cobblestone blocks here. Extend the uncapped pillars four more blocks tall. This time, we will connect all the pillars at the top. Now, we are going to fill in our walls on the back side of the build. Follow along to replicate what I do. Be sure to pause when needed.
We're gonna add some flower boxes for detail. We will place them on the walls that have no windows on the second floor. They are just spruce trap doors on the bottom with moss blocks wrapped with oak trap doors and then three flowers of your choosing. Back around front, let's add some spruce fence for railing and cap off our side cobblestone blocks with spruce trap doors. Using our gate design from earlier, we're going to frame out both our crop fields on each side, leaving the front open. Now to make our crop fields. In the middle, replace the dirt block with a slab on the bottom half of the block and add water. Use a hoe to till the soil and plant whichever crop you want. Do this for both dirt patches. We're gonna add a row of five furnaces, five smokers, and five smelters all stacked on top of each other. Here we can have an enchanting area. Dress it up with some carpet on top of the bookshelves and some potted plants. We definitely need some storage. Knock out these two beams of logs overhead so that you can open all the chests. Then place a row of double chests, three tall, like this. Repeat that over here. Then add a row of single chests, three tall, against the wall across from the double chest. Add logs sticking out of the top like we did before and add some stone buttons on them. Then fill in the space between them with upside down oak stairs. Round out the archways like we did before. Place some spruce trap doors to cover the sides of the chest for a solid look. To cover up the obsidian from our portals, we are going to add some double chest with a barrel in the middle and a couple of crafting benches just to keep things symmetrical. On top of the rest of the cobblestone blocks, place some potted cherry saplings to add just a dash of more color to this build. Let's start on the roof for our different sections. Above the crop fields, place oak trap doors running down both sides. Then fill in the middle with leaves, with the middle block being a solid block. Double stack the leaves, then add campfires around the leaves and extinguish them to complete this look. Hang a lantern on the solid block above the crops. Above the furnace area, wrap the opening with upside down oak stairs and then fill in the rest with oak trap doors. Do the same thing above the enchanting area. Above our storage areas, wrap the opening with upside down oak stairs and fill in the rest with oak planks. We will have a third floor on top of these sections. Moving on to our final floor, add cobblestone blocks here, 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 and here. Add some potted plants on top, then add spruce fence for railing on each side of the cobblestone blocks. Extend the open-ended pillars four more blocks tall. Connect the tops just like before. With oak planks, add this pyramid shape on top of each cross beam.
Let's fill in our walls. You can change these up to whatever you think looks good. Each variation can go anywhere. decorative leaves with spruce trap doors and more extinguished campfires to carry the detail to the third floor. Now for our roof. We are going to outline our roof with stone brick stairs. Follow along closely, but don't worry, I kept the shape simple. After you have the outline finished, fill in the rest of the roof with spruce stairs. Fill this space in with oak logs for the interior look. Finally, finish the roof off with stone brick slabs. Another easy detail tip is to add upside down grindstones and hang lanterns from them. We're going to do this on all the corners of the roof. Now for the interior of the third floor. Create a staircase in the space between the storage areas with an oak log pillar, bookshelves, oak stairs, and slabs. Finish off these walls to create two separate rooms. Add lanterns and upside down spruce stairs to finish out the inside of the roof. Now it's time to decorate the inside. Feel free to do this however you would like. To finish out our build, you can add some pathway blocks around a pond with slabs and sugarcane that act as decoration, but also a farm. Then sprinkle around it some leaves and flowers to create a beautiful courtyard for your survival house. Add your animals, light your nether portals, and this house is ready to go. bet you thought I forgot about the lever. 
what's an ultimate survival house if it isn't equipped to handle nighttime in Minecraft? With some redstone, sticky pistons, dispensers, buckets of lava, and a few other components, you can have an ultimate defense system for your ultimate survival base. Ultimate! That's ready to go at the flip of a lever and will eliminate any mob that's trying to get to you.